Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. I am finishing up on the slicer project, and one of the things we had to do was try to get this dial indicator to look a little bit better. All the numbers were kind of yellowy brown. Um, we cleaned it really good with degreaser, and I actually had a huge improvement. This is two applications of what I'm about to show you. We kind of did it on Mother's Day at a family dinner at the dinner table. Uh, I think it was after dinner before dessert, was it? Got the baby mama over here watching. Emily's behind the camera. And uh, yeah, we did like two applications between dinner and dessert. Um, I had the whole crowd watching. Somebody filmed it. I think uh, Robbie filmed it on his iPhone. So I'll roll that tape in now and then we'll come back to what we're at. So I cleaned it with nail polish remover and I use non-acetone nail polish remover because apparently if you use the acetone one it pulls the paint out of the numbers you know the grooves so once it cleaned and, it, and they evaporated I took the white nail polish which was my wife's and you put a decent amount on because you want it to fill the grooves where the numbers and lines are supposed to be white, not yellow, because it's just yellowed from being old. And then you use little pieces of business card to squeegee it out. And that just squeegees out the excess. It's gonna leave residue, we're not worried about that just yet. And then we're gonna keep working our way around, filling in all the numbers. So after I went around the whole thing, I didn't even let it fully dry, and I put a little acetone on the cotton thing here. And I'm just lightly wiping, because I don't want to press it and pull it out of the grooves. So it's just a light wipe. Turn. pretty much got to make your way around. Use a couple of these things so that you're not spreading the, the paint all over it. Anyway, no, so that's the I, first application. Right. And it got, I would say, about 80% 80, 80 coverage. I think we go over it one more time, let it dry a little bit longer, and then wipe off the excess. I think it'll be looking good. All right, the finished product. Style with white lines and numbers and cannoli donuts. And Jessica, but not really, mostly grandma. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Don't do that. on it. Yes, you can. Just cough on it, for Christ's sakes. All right, well, we're going to do our last one. So I cleaned it off again with, because uh, it's been a couple weeks, I cleaned it off again with non-acetone uh, nail polish remover. I don't know why you have to use non-acetone, but everybody that does any kind of this, filling in something that's that's sort of engraved uses non-acetone. They say the acetone one pulls, pulls it out. In the meantime, my indicator, and um, you can see over here, I uh, kind of hit with some red nail polish and I keep flipping it over, you know, to get a coating on it. That's the indicator. I don't know if it actually ever had any color on it originally. So I got this clean. I got my white nail polish. I got a couple of uh, business card snippets and I am going to start at zero and I'm going to try to stay heavy this time to fill everything in just one last time. So I'm just sort of dabbing. See the four still got a little yellow coming through. Five looks fairly good. There's like a couple of parts of a couple of numbers that two coats just didn't get it. Yeah. I'm gonna go till about I guess number ten, and then I'm gonna I'll wipe. Wow. You know, and when you whisper behind the camera, they could still hear you. Okay. All right, so I got zero through 10. I'm gonna 
give a little wiping just to get the excess which there we go now we'll get some of that excess up alright so I got that excess up with the business card and I'm gonna let that dry while I do 11 to the end so there's my 11 In my first two applications, you know, everybody can hear you two talking. <laughs> the first two applications, I think I was just trying to go too light, being concerned that I wouldn't be able to get all of this overspray, if you will, off. And now this last one, I'm going a little heavier see if that works. I'll get another business card and I'm going to wipe. All right. <laughs> and everything bagel stuff or? <laughs> you might as well just answer her at this point. All right. So got it all the way around. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to get some of this nail polish remover I don't know how much I should wait I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait Emily I'm gonna wait all right so I waited about two or three minutes and I want to now try to clean the excess off just light light pressure Now I'm just going on the edge. And I'm going to go to the back side now and just give it a, just a nice white, not too much pressure. All right, and I like that. It's not perfect, 100% perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than what it was. I think it's going to look great once it's installed on the slicer. Really easy. White nail polish, non acetone nail polish remover. These pads, what do they call these pads, Emma? They're like makeup remover pads. Makeup remover pads. They're like cotton balls in a pad, so they're not stringy, like how a cotton ball is stringy. Um, they're not stringy. The taco ball sauce is not part of this project. I put another couple more coats um, on this little thing. I'm going to let that dry now and get it installed. That's it. Quick one. Slicer video update. As always, comments, concerns, questions down below. And thanks for watching.